Hey, welcome to another episode of Arky RC. What we got in front of us is a 1988 Turbo Ultima. It's the same one I've had since I was a kid. Been kind of recently fixing it up and running a little bit. Notice the drive shafts in it were pretty worn. I mean, they weren't broken or anything, but they were pretty worn. So I thought I'd go ahead and try to get some new ones. Looked on eBay and they're like 90 bucks. I didn't really want to spend that. So I found some at RC Mart. They don't look too bad. They came in today. The new one's a little bit longer, but I don't think it's going to hurt anything. The newer style, um, kind of very similar to the new Ultima design on the re-release. It has the pins um, and the hex adapter for the wheels as opposed to, tape, as opposed to the taper fit of the original design. So that's going to be a plus. I did have to order from RC Mart some hexes. They had two different sizes. I wasn't sure which one that I needed, so I just ordered the uh, the 5 millimeter and the 5.5 millimeter. Now, neither one of them actually measure 5 or 5.5, but they must measure things different than China. I, I don't know, but um, the 5.5 millimeter one's actually a little bit of quality control issues in China, but no hole for the Allen screw, but uh, it probably still work. You know, they would probably still work if you put the pin in there. So the 5 millimeter ones work actually perfect, and they're actually slightly thicker than the original ones. So I think any of them would work actually. And I think you could probably retrofit like a Traxxas that the ones that Traxxas uses or, or any modern RC car that uses these to work with these axles. So that's a plus for me because these original hexes, they're the tapered ones, they're they're hard to find and they're kind of expensive too. So uh, to me, that was a plus with them to these axles too. So let's go ahead and see about getting them on the car and see if they actually fit. So let's we'll take the body off of this thing. All right, so the first thing you got to do, obviously, is take the wheels off. So I'll go ahead and take the camber link off. All right. Actually, just pull right out on this. But I might have to pop the hex off first. There we go. Now, well, take the new axle, put it in. Slides in there perfect, which is good to see. Go ahead and put our screw back in. So we'll go ahead and take our pin. We'll put that in there. Or you got the Allen, the Allen uh, set screw in this, so. Well, why is it not going in? All right, there we go. I think I had to set screw in there too much. Tighten her up. Kind of have to hold that axle or it wants to slip out until that set screw gets tight. Give her a little bit of snug. I wouldn't tighten it too much. That's just an aluminum hub. So anyway, that's all there is to it. The uh, tire fits on there and wheel fits on there. All right, I got the other side installed too. And I haven't driven it yet, but so far it's just the setup looks nice. I mean, it fits in there perfect. I see no issues with the, the offset on the tires or anything. Um, it's like it was made for it. So, in my opinion, uh, it's, it's a good it's a good deal. Um, the price isn't that isn't that expensive. I think I had all this stuff shipped to me for maybe twenty nine bucks. So you can't go wrong there. All right, so I got them both installed and looks nice. The color's different. Obviously, it's more of a brass or bronze color than the original ones, but they look nice. And hopefully, you know, I know they're made out of the best Chineseium. So. I hope they last a long time. They look like they're pretty decent quality. I'll give them that. And I can take the original hex nuts and the original axles and just kind of store those away and keep those original.